Guten Tag everyone, I'm Samuel Johnson and welcome back to the Ben 10 Retrospectives and I want to apologize in advance if I'm not real if I don't really seem into it for this vlog. I'm last yet last night I did not get much sleep because of my little dink of a dog putting it nicely, so I'm rather tired today, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of doing the this vlog at the moment for tradition's sake as as I said before in my side effects vlog, I do look forward to doing these every week, so I war so I did still want to do this, but otherwise I'm not going to be into it as much as I would like to be. So I so again I am truly sorry, but anyway, let's talk. So while I'm here, I might as well get this over with and talk about episode thirty six of the original Ben Ten series, The Unnaturals, and in this episode, the Tennysons are in are visiting Philadelphia and. While they're there, they're, the Little League World Series is going on, and it turns out Ben, the Ben's home team, the Cannons, as they're called, is playing. So Ben wants to see this because he actually does enjoy baseball. But to his own chagrin, his own his bullies from the first episode of Ben Ten are on the team. It turns out that they were able to get out, get into the team as a fluke and. This is also the episode where we learn their names. I might have said what their names were in, in the, the end. Then there were 10 vlogs, so I apologize for repeating this. But their names are Cash and JT. Cash is the taller, skinny one. JT is his sidekick with the glasses. So, but while they are pretty much an irritation to Ben, what kind of get what starts the real conflict is the team that the Cannons will be going up against, the Squires, which are a group of Little Leaguers that are just perfect they are great ball they're great ball players they aren't every game they're every game they they're in they win every time they are pretty much just the epitome of little league players to the point where that's it seems impossible that sh they should be playing and so during the game ben and the the cannons are getting there are getting creamed by the the squires ben of course is just think ben of course is one is knows that this isn't right that these players sh are too perfect so he goes accelerate and pretty much just cheats he sabotages the the squire so that they'll lose and so while gwen, gwen does figure it out because she notices all these little things and she gets a film camera and slows it down so that they see accelerate she turns out she did some digging on the squires because she had the same suspicions as Ben. And it turns out that almost no none of the team members on the on the squires sh are even legally exist. All their names are based off of famous ball players in the Hall of Fame, and they have and there's absolutely nothing on them. There's no birth certificates, medical records, anything. Which I don't think that stuff is online, so I don't I can't I don't I can't really verify if Gwen would have been able to find all that stuff. I may, think she may have had to do some hacking. I don't know, but. Either way, at this point, this this warrants an investigation, especially since I I probably should have mentioned this a little while, bit ago, but it turns out that the president of the United States is here for, because apparently he's a fan of baseball, so he's here to watch the Little League. And I don't know if the president would be going to Philadelphia for a for a little for a Little League World Series, like okay, World Series, and he's a fan of baseball, so but going to see kids, I don't really understand but i'm sorry he's the president of the united states i don't think he really have a lot of time to go to a little league championship so that's just kind of my own again maybe a nitpick maybe an actual complaint i don't know but it turns out that the coach of the squires who i can't who i'll talk about later because he's the real quote-unquote villain of this episode he's he's watching this he's apparently doing recon on the secret service and ben and well, so Ben and Gwen and Grandpa, but separately, start doing start doing their own investigations. Ben is actually following Cat. Actually, winds up following Cash and JT because they happen to be in the same area. Though Cash and JT don't know that he's there, and he witnesses them being kidnapped by the Squires, and they're brought to this factory. And it turns out that the reason the Squires are so perfect is because they're robots. It t and. Uh, and it turns out that because of the Squires' loss in the last game, they are taking Cash and JT as insurance and replace and are planning to replace them with robots while disposing of the originals. And 
while Ben just does not like Cash and JT, he's the hero. He can't let that happen. So he goes alien and saves them. At the same time, Gwen and Max figure out are able to track are are able to find the factory too because they follow the coach back. But the coach seat bent bent. But so Max and Gwen are Max and Gwen are able to save Cash and JT while Ben deals with this robot army. And while in there, Gwen finds out that what their plan is. It turns out that the reason that the that these these that they're going to all this trouble is because they plan on replacing the president with one of their robots. Hence, why they got all these things. Of course, this way that way they can get into the finals. So anyway, so the building is set to blow. Ben, the Tennyson's managed to get managed to get Cash and JT out of there. The robots all escape. Ben survives because he was Diamond Head at the time. But they know they can't let the Squire succeed. So. Cash and JT very I don't know why because they the, Cash is just kind of acting like a they act they're kind of acting like jerks because after saving them saving them is like yeah thanks for that but we have a game to play what which, which I respond with dude they just saved your life and to your knowledge they are affiliated with one of the alien heroes there because they actually what the because that's what they say because they saw Diamond Head come in and save them and Gwen and Max were there and yet for some and as a cover story Max says that they're all fr that they're friends with them so I don't know. So, I don't know, but they force Cash to switch clothes with Ben, and by switch clothes, I mean give Ben his uniform. So, Ben goes to the game after doing a, after, after doing a pitch, a fastball on the third strike without, because he got two strikes, he managed to hit it up before the third. He goes alien, he attacks one of the robots, causing it to activate, and so it Pretty much blows the, all the others cover, and so they just, and so all the robots are going to attack the president, take out the secret service. But the Tennysons save him. But they get the they get the president corner. They're about to replace him, but Ben squishes the fake president, saves the, the robot, saves him. But the coach is not giving up. It turns out he's a, he's the big robot. He's the big leader. Ben is able to take him out. And the on the trick before, but the on the trick times out before he can finish him off. So. And the president doesn't see it, of course, so to his knowledge, the forearm guy just went away somewhere, but the coach robot tr does it, tries one last attempt to kill the president, but Ben destroys it, everything's fine, and look, the day is saved, and Cash gets all the credit, which is pretty much a douchey thing, and Ben learns that cheaters never prosper, as he, his cousin, as it turns out, Gwen steals his iPod thing, because he won, he won in the beginning of the episode, because he get, he guessed correctly the exact number of jelly beans in a bit on it in a Liberty Bell container and he used gray matter to do it but anyway before anyway before I begin I will talk let me talk about what I like for starters I like the squires because they're actually they're they are they are pretty creepy in their own regard they're nothing disturbing or weird but they are but it is just kind of nice seeing these robot people and the coat and really they do reveal who built the robots and that their plant they do reveal who built the robots, and if you actually pay attention enough, you can actually find it out. And if you haven't figured, and if you have seen the episode, you know who I'm talking about. If not, I'll end up probably I'll probably end up talking about it anyway. So, For, like the yeah, screw it. The, it's the Forever Knights. The bad guys in this case are the Forever Knights. And rewatching the episode again, I actually kind of noticed that there was a nice, a nice bit of hints because I mentioned that the coach is the real villain, and while it's not the same voice actor as Enoch, it's clearly the Enoch robot, because it talks exactly like him, has the same speech pattern, has the same bravado, yada, has the same bravado. It actually does feel like Enoch, except as a coach. And the squire, and of course, it's the squires. They have the knight thing. Everything. It really. There are enough little. It's a nice. It's a nice. It's enough nice little hints to reveal that the Forever Knights are the bad guys behind everything. And it is an. And it is a nice twist. I like that. Um. On another another thing, I kind of like seeing Cash and J I kind of like seeing Ben use more of his aliens to get to be more petty in this regard. Because again, I like seeing Ben. Like, like again, they probably should be complaining, but let's be honest. But honestly, if I was a kid and I had superpowers, I would secretly be using them to mess with my bullies. I I really would. So I kind of don't doubt him, and even then, it's kind of funny and how he'd mess with them. Because during the game where he's sabotaging the Squires, he causes one ball to hit J hit cash in the side which is actually pretty funny with some nice slapstick and he ties jt's shoes together which may not isn't as funny but that but it is kind of a mute but yeah 
kind of amusing. So, anyway, I can't really think of much to talk about, actually. It might be because I'm tired, but there's real, the real meat of the episode is just a mystery with the Squires, because prior to them being revealed as robots, there are they actually are pretty disturbing. Like, they are perfect at everything. There's the whole, they're disturbing. They almost take they almost take innocent children's heads off because they're not part of the practice. The coach is just the coach is just psychotic and and rightfully so because apparently I because I suspect Enoch was controlling him personally, based on his movements and how he and how he acted. But I think again I think we're I think I think there are some big some kind of big some plot problems like for example the president being a fan of baseball and going to a little league game. And I'm not saying that that's not possible because the president can do that. It's just that I don't, it's just kind of going out to, to, to this, this stuff for kids and for something that may not even be that big of a deal. Okay. Well, maybe it is a big deal because it's a little league championship. Championship. I don't know. I really don't know. I, it's, it's just something that it just doesn't seem like it clicks in my head. Again, it's not impossible. It's just for me, it's, Imp it's just highly improbable so again that's probably a nitpick so it's not really a big deal my, I think my biggest problem is the fact that Cash and JT for some reason are not phased by anything and I know Cash is meant to be the stereotypical bully and JT is his bumbling sidekick but for some reason they're not phased by the robots they're not phased by the fact that Tennyson seemed to know this diamond headed guy and they rather jerk and they and in a, in a bit kind of a dick move they take all the credit for saving the president because cat because ben in his human form state was destroyed the robot using a piece of shrapnel and yet cash gets all the credit it's kind of a di it really is kind of a dick move in that regard but i don't know what can you do i think one other i think i don't know if it's a complaint or not but the, I don't, the lesson i don't know if it was well implemented because it was Clearly, there was clearly meant to be a lesson of cheaters never prosper because Ben cheats in the beginning. The bad guys are cheaters trying to win at a game, and Ben helps cheat to beat them. I don't know. It's just kind of confusing. I don't know. Again, this man, it's rather confusing, and it kind of doesn't make a lot. And it doesn't, I don't know if it's very well implemented. Like it's not great. Like, I don't think it's done horribly, but I think it could have been done better because there is some comeuppance in Ben's case for his own cheating ways because he get because he because Gwen I think steals his iPod or music whatever I forgot what it was called but so which okay he cheated to get it but that's kind of a dick move in itself too I think at least Max would tell her to give it back at some point maybe share it I don't know. But, and, and Ben not getting credit for saving the president. I can't maybe pushing that a little. I don't know. I'm getting off topic. And again, I'm getting off topic. For me, the biggest problems are just kind of the plot stuff with the president, which is probably just my own personal nitpick. So make of that what you will. And j the implementation, and just the implementation of the lesson, which I think could have been better. Wasn't again wasn't horrible, but I've seen a lot better. Seen a lot better. But the real meat of it is with this is with the, is the conflict with the squires because they're disturbing when you when they when they when before the reveal. It's a nice it's a nice pick. It's a nice pickup later. The coach is just is just a nice card carrying villain, and really just the Forever Knights are good villains. And I just can't and really this and even if their plot's just a little weird, you just, you enjoy seeing them because of just how intricate they can be, and just to see Enoch be Enoch. So, I really don't have much to say about this episode. I don't think there's really much to say. It's just a fine little filler episode. Good villains, good action, okay implementation of lesson. It's nice. I think it's also nice to see Ben kind of reconnecting with some of his hometown. With his hometown and all that stuff. So, with people from his hometown. So, I guess there's that. But otherwise, just an alright episode. I had fun. I was. I enjoyed myself while watching it, but otherwise, but but otherwise, I guess killer robots are actually pretty cool. But otherwise, sorry. But otherwise, just a fine episode. Nothing great, but just still entertaining. So yeah.
Thank you for watching. I'm Samuel Johnson. I thank you for putting up with my drowsy attitude and tune in next week where I will hopefully be more awake and where we begin where we find where we reach the finale of this series of this season's story. And for once, it's a two parter, so yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm Samuel Johnson, and I will see you next week. Take care.